welcome to another story time with Miss Cat. Today, our theme is going to be donuts. Well, donuts and brunch food. Uh, but I've got two of my favorite books here for us today. But before we start reading, I want to start with our opening song. So we usually do These Are My Glasses by Lori Berkner. And the song starts with These Are My Glasses. You make a pair of glasses. Oh, nice. And you make a book with your hands. Okay, now we're ready. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. All right, so I don't know about you, but I am ready, so ready for our first story, which is called Please, Mr. Panda. Do you like pandas? Yeah. They're pretty cuddly. Well, I don't know. I've never personally cuddled a panda, but like, that's one of my dreams. <laughs> All right, so please, Mr. Panda. And this book is by Steve Antony. Now he did both the pictures and the words for this one. And this is brought to us by Scholastic, uh, who are helping um, librarians like us be able to bring stories to you in these unprecedented times. All right, so let's start. Please, Mr. Panda. Would you like a donut? Um, give me a pink one. No, you cannot have a donut. I've changed my mind. Hmm. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. Huh? No, you cannot have a donut. I've changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No! Go away! Don't like donuts. Would you like a donut? I want them all. Then bring me some more. No, you cannot have a donut. I have changed my mind. Why do you think the panda's not giving anyone donuts? Hmm. Well, let's let's keep reading and find out. Would anyone like a donut? I would love a donut. <laughs> Hello! May I have a donut? What's happening? Who's that? Please, Mr. Panda? That's a very nice way. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I love donuts. You're welcome. I do not like donuts. The end. Oh, and look. You can see the lemur is already asleep and he's full of donuts. That's really fun. So what did we think about that? Did we think that Mr. Panda didn't bring the donuts or didn't give the donuts to the other animals because they didn't say please? Yeah, because it's always nice to say please and thank you when someone offers you something like a sweet treat or a toy, you know, it's just really nice. All right, now I think it'd be a fun time to get some of our wiggles out. So let's do one of my favorites, which is, where is Thumpkin? And I think you, you might know how to do this one with me. All right. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is pointer finger? Where is pointer finger? Here I am, here I am. How are you 
you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is ring finger? Where is ring finger? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky Finger? Where is Pinky Finger? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. All right, very good. That's one of my favorites to do. And now, for our main event for Brunch Wars, the tale of Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. And this is written by Josh Funk and illustrated by Brendan Kearney. And we're reading it today with permission from Sterling Children's Books, which is very nice of them. So, let's see those two. All right, we've got Lady Pancake here and Sir French Toast. Mmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think, what is your favorite food to eat for brunch? Or which brunch is a combination of breakfast and or lunch? What's your favorite brunch food? Nice. I like croissants. Have you had a croissant before? They're so buttery and you can put chocolate in them and all sorts of other just, ooh, so good. All right, let's get started. All right, Lady, Pan Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. Let's see. Deep in the fridge behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese. Up in the corner and back by the roast, Sir, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. The leftover friends were as close as could be, until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely gone. A single drop's left, just a drop, she went on. Oh my goodness. Let's see. <clears throat> That last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed, but French Toast replied, Not if I get there first. Like that, he was off, and the race had begun, with Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Ooh, okay, so they're going, they're racing to the last syrup. Who do you think is going to win? Okay, well, well, let's see. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of the potato mash mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead. Toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. Oh no! She screeched to the stop at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice, and he couldn't quite stop. Plummeting down into a jam with a plop! Oh my goodness. He scraped himself off and yelled up, You meanie! As Pancake repelled down a rope of linguine. That's fun. Do you see the rope is made of the, the linguine pasta noodles? She bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast treats. Then hurdled a line and skipped over two beats. Huh. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak. So Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke dip, Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell below with a Thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across seas of soup, 
causing spills. But chili lagoons slathered pancake and muck. And then, at, at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Oh no! Don't go that way! yelled a chick peel to warn her. But Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind dressings, one Russian, one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean avalanche! Oh no! Look at all those beans! Oh my gosh, what do you think is going to happen next? Toast reemerged in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such great height, some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Beans everywhere. Searching for the safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide, but was blasted by fumes Ugh. of Brussels sprouts left from an old party platter. <sighs> so quickly he climbed up a celery ladder. Ooh. Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded, battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling. Too tired to push, they were both limping and stumbling. <gasps> there stood the bottle of syrup at last. But wait, it was empty. They stood quite aghast. <gasps> Do you know what aghast means? It means just, just so shocked. Just, <gasps> what? That feeling. Licking his lips with a sneer that was awful, out of the shadow crept Baron Von Waffle. I got here first while you were boasted and bickered. My, that syrup was delicious, mm, he snickered. <laughs> with one evil laugh, ha ha ha, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone. No more reason to fight. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, perhaps we should not fight next time. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split up that butter right there. Ooh, butter. And look at all of this food. Do you have food like this in your refrigerator too? I think I do. Oh, look at it. Look, they're, oh, they're sharing toe, or I'm sorry, they're sharing butter. And then at the very end on this last page, you can see the whole fridge that they were climbing through. Isn't that neat? You can see if we can get all of that. The end. Do you see? Oh, that's very cool. I think some of my favorite foods are there. Definitely beans and, ooh, and grapes. Ooh, and then we've got strawberry jelly. Oh, and look, there's our friends. They're over there. Some watermelon. Watermelon's my favorite summertime food. What is your favorite food to eat for, like, for, what's your favorite fruit? That's a really good one. Anyway, so that is our last story. So it's time that we learn well, that we, that we sing our final closing song where we do have some ASL sign language, it's American Sign Language, and we do our song, um, The More We Get Together. So, you might know that song, but here's some, uh, here's some hand signs to go with it. So, it's The More We Get, sorry, The More We Get Together, The Happier We'll Be, For Your Friends, are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Okay, let's try it together. Oh, the more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, 
My friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Well, I'm so happy that you stopped by for my brunch story time this week. And check out, we're gonna have, we're gonna revisit our friends Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast in our next video. So look out for that one. And in the meantime, I hope you have fun and stay safe. And I can't wait to see you um, at my next story time. All right, goodbye friends. It was really nice to see you.